Hey guys, Josiah here. It's uh, it's a really nice day outside, and I thought I'd go ahead and make you guys a quick video review of my Alpine head unit. And I know it's been a while since I installed it, but I wanted to make sure that I got some use out of it before I gave you guys a review. It's probably been a little bit too long, but oh well. Uh, another thing I was waiting for was my iPod to arrive, and that arrived about two weeks ago. So at least now I can show you guys how it interfaces with the stereo itself. So quick run through of the head unit itself. Turn it on, hit the source button. There's your splash screen. And you tune it by hitting these buttons on the bottom here. You set a preset by pushing the button and holding it in. You know, bring this screen up and tell you what all your presets are. So that's pretty cool. Um, the next thing you can do, you can set a whole bunch of settings, including Bluetooth. This thing is Bluetooth capable, so if you have a phone that connects via Bluetooth, you can actually uh, control it with your voice. I don't have that set up right now, but either way. Um, you can also set some general and some display settings, but I'm not going to go into those right now just for the sake of time. First off, we're turning that down. Um, I hate car commercials. The next thing that I'm going to show you is... This is a CD player. It's pretty basic. I actually don't know which CD this is. Led Zeppelin. All right. Well, I didn't realize I left it in there. All right. Well, anyways, so that's basic. Basically, all you have to do is just you scroll through this to turn the volume up and down, and this seeks through the different the different tracks. Um, one cool thing about this this head unit is that it has what's called a loud feature, and if you push this button in, you'll see it says loudness off. And if you push it back in it'll turn it on and basically all that does is it boosts the high and the low settings so that you have a little bit more of a fuller sound. I've found that it actually really improves the sound regardless of the speakers that you have. Um, Alright, so that's that's the CD player. This is... this. If you had a hard drive or some kind of like a USB stick um, connected, it would connect to that. And I'm not going to show you guys that just because I don't have that. I'm not using that feature right now. Well, basically, all you do is you just you scroll through it by hitting the enter button, and it'll allow you to search through different folders on on either your hard drive or the the USB stick that you have. Um, so that's that. And then this is what I really wanted to show you. And right now, there's no iPod connected, but I found that the easiest way to set the music that you want to listen to as soon as you plug your iPod in is to actually set the music on the iPod. And then, that way, as soon as you plug it in, it'll start from wherever you left off on the iPod. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here, and then I will come back as soon as it's connected. Okay, so now you can see the iPod is connected. It says Accessory Attached. And it'll actually bring up a display of the track information on the screen right here. And all you have to do is hit the play button. It'll automatically start playing. You can adjust the volume, same as with the radio. You just turn the knob. And as you can see, if there's a tr if part of the track name is longer than will fit in this display here, it'll actually scroll through it. And you'll see what as it happens, there. it'll sh it scrolls through like that. You can also change it so that it actually like moves the entire phrase over, but you can configure that with the settings down here. Easily one of my favorite bands. I am so happy they came out with the new CD. All right, guys. So. That was basically it. If you guys want to see me review any more parts of the head unit, feel free to let me know and I'll try to shoot another video with that. But I just wanted to show you the features that I use the most. And like I said, there are multiple different ways that you can scroll through the iPod. Let me real quick show you the other one. All you have to do is hit the enter button. It'll let you search through by artist, playlist, album. Pretty similar to how it is on the iPod. The only difference is once you start playing something, like we'll we'll go ahead and scroll down to uh, good enough, and all right. So let's say you wanted to go back and you wanted to change the album. Well, 
you have to hit enter again. Problem is, it clears it out, so then you have to go all the way back, and you want to, you have to switch all the way back to this screen. It doesn't, it doesn't revert to the last portion of uh, whatever you are searching for. It, uh, it just clears it and starts it back at the first level. So I don't know how much I like that. It just took a little bit of getting used to as far as how it browses. But aside from that, I'm really happy with this head unit. Um, I would highly suggest it if you're looking for like a mid, mid range price wise uh, head unit that has quite a few features. Most of which I don't use right now, but I'll probably end up using eventually. Um, again, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know, and I'll try to get back to you. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like, and I will hopefully get, uh, talk to you all soon. Bye. Popular is